Next up is Stetson, which has been to the postseason eight straight years, and their head coach during that time has been Lynn Bria. She is joined by preseason all-conference player McKenna Beach. First of all, welcome to the program. Tell us a little bit about your player, the player of the year in the conference, Sarah Seiger, and also defensive player of the year. She's back after an injury a year ago. What does her return mean to your group? Well, I mean, she's, um, you know, having her back certainly makes a huge impact on our team. She, uh, you know, for me, I think just seeing her being able to play again, that's been uh, really, really good because I know she's been through a lot. Um, I think she appreciates the respect and, and the coaches voting for her, but I think the best thing Sarah loves about all this, she gets to finally play. So um, the impact she has offensively, and as you know, the impact def defensively for us is, I mean, it's hard, to, it's hard to really even put that into words. McKenna, what is it meant to be with her back on the practice floor together? Yeah, it's awesome. With so many new people, it's good to play with a familiar face. Um, like Coach said, she's not blocking shots. She's altering shots on the defensive end, and her abilities on the offensive end are endless, too, so that really helps us. Coach McKenna's one of two double-figure double scorers returning from a year ago. Mm -hmm. How has her game grown, uh, and how does she compliment Sarah? Well, McKenna's quarterback. I mean, McKenna, she gets a lot of say-so. She calls all of our out-of-bounds plays. And, um, you know, as you know, I'm, I'm really tough on the point guard. And, you know, she's been with me for four years, I think. Um, you know, and her and Sarah together is really, you know, they play the, the two most important spots on the floor. Um, but I think to have McKenna here and, and even, you know, to end with Sarah being here for four years, Sarah now in her fifth year, I think that that helps me, you know, sure makes my job a lot easier when you can have a point guard, a quarterback that can run, you know, pretty much, I don't think, I tell them all the time, you don't need me out there. These two can coach the team. I think McKenna could run the team. I, you know, when she's on the floor, I don't do a whole lot. And you've got Kennedy Colclaw back, who's a double figure scorer from a year ago too. Mm -hmm. How do the three of you compliment one another, McKenna? Um, again, just a familiar face. We've all played together before. Um, I think she allows us to run a little more with a sprint post. Um, so that's going to be a good addition to our game again. And one of the other things you have is you've got a couple of interesting transfers that you've added to the roster this year uh, in Denisha Barnes uh, and Addie Walters from Mississippi and Cal State Bakersfield. How do they add to your group, Coach, and, and how does that kind of change maybe the complexion of your team this year? Well, I think you had two people that can really shoot the ball from the perimeter. I think that's, uh, you know, the teams are going to have a really hard time sagging, uh, especially on those two players. And I think it, that really opens up the lane for our other players as well. But they can really shoot it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with their progress and what they look like and picking up on our system. Um, you know, and I think the other player that we add to is Day Day Banks. And uh, I think she's going to give us a lot of versatility on both ends of the floor as well. And you've got some freshmen that you've added to the mix too. Do you have more depth this year than maybe in previous seasons? Well, I think, you know, I don't think we've, we've never really carried a big roster. So um, do, do I think we're deeper than last year? Absolutely. You know, uh, if we stay healthy, I think we're, we're in good shape. But I think the key for us is we have to stay healthy. And as a senior, McKenna, let us know how you're helping acclimate some of the younger players. You've obviously been in their shoes before, and now you've got this leadership role as a senior. For sure. Um, it's been a difficult one um, trying to incorporate all these pieces, but it's a challenge that um, it's fun. It's fun for me and it's fun for Coach, so we're accepting it. If you guys are to move, you know, toward the top of the conference this year, obviously a lot of good competition with Liberty and FGCU. What are the things, Coach, that you guys need to do as a group? Well, I just think we just got to get better every day. I think we have to, you know, we've got to commit to the defensive end of the floor, which I think having Sarah really makes us better defensively without even one day of practice. So when you add a very good defensive player like her it makes it makes everybody better but I think you know it takes five people to, to guard but I think you know I think defense and, and rebounding are, are keys to winning this league and I don't think that that's going to change this year so I think for us we we've got to sell out and we've got to decide we want to guard people um, you know teams in the past our best teams are teams that have been at the top of the league and had a chance have, have guarded so um, I think we, we, we've just got to have people committing to that but you know and I think offensively I think we have weapons I think we're more versatile than last year I think we can shoot the ball a lot better so I think our offense will be there it's just a matter of if we're going to sit down and guard people and that quest for Stetson will begin November 6th 
when they take on Tulsa.